Goliath is Six Flags Great America's RMC Topper Track Near Hyper Hybrid. This insane wooden roller coaster is an RMC masterpiece and is typically forgotten in RMC's wide array of elite coasters. But what makes this ride so good yet forgotten? I'm going to be looking at the pros and cons of Goliath and determining if it's truly one of RMC's best works compared to their other roller coasters. When people mention Goliath, they think of that zero-g stall. This is everyone's most anticipated and people's favorite element on the ride. The stall lasts forever and you experience weightlessness the whole time. It's one of the world's greatest inversions, yet some people argue that the inversion before it is even better. So this ride does not mess around when it throws you upside down, and those inversions definitely deserve all the appreciation they get easily one of the best few I've experienced on a roller coaster. And not many rides can even touch Goliath's inversions. A lot of people like to hype them up, but I like one other thing about the ride a little better. And you probably guessed it. Just like any other RMC, that airtime is nuts. It doesn't have a lot of airtime hills, but that one camelback supplies some crazy sustained ejector air better than most of the other hills on your average RMC coaster. You're out of your seat, and it's just sheer power. You take it so fast, and it's profiled for maximum airtime. It's so powerful that it will have your thighs hurting when the ride reaches its full potential. Easily one of the best moments of airtime I have experienced. But an element that's almost as good as that airtime hill is the first drop. Back row is the way to go on this ride, and it's just for this element alone. It has my favorite drop on any RMC. You are whipped down in the back row, and it reaches that 85 degrees quickly, so you are flying out of your seat. Even in the middle rows, you experience strong ejector air. The long drop into the tunnel makes it that much more special. It's one of the more unique RMC first drops that people overlook. Usually the first drop is never the best element on an RMC, but on Goliath, I can make the argument for it being the best element. Goliath takes its elements so quickly. You go from one to the other rapidly. There's no time for breaks. The ride doesn't even feature a mid-course break run like some other RMCs. And that's what the ride uses to its advantage. I could argue that there's not one dead spot on the ride. Some may disagree, but I stand by the statement. Even some of the best RMCs suffer from this problem, but that's not the case with Goliath. The second it's off the lift hill, you're either out of your seat or crushed with positives, and I love it. There's really not any negatives to this ride. I would mention the only things that disappointed me on my first rides was the short duration, but after riding it so many times, I just appreciate how amazing the ride is for how little elements there are. Even if there's not many, each one stands out and would be one of the highlight elements on any other RMC coaster. And many people knock on the ride for having some roughness in the valleys, but personally I didn't notice it at all. It's butter smooth and very rewritable. On your visit, it's hard to just not ride this multiple times. One ride doesn't give it justice. But how does the ride compare to similar RMCs? I would say it feels a lot like Iron Gwazi in terms of its amazing pacing, focusing on a rapid fire ride with no brakes, and few airtime moments. Both share pretty similar feeling first drops too, and the lift hills look very similar. Even if both rides aren't airtime machines like Steel Vengeance, they're both very much elite and deserving of a top spot in most people's rankings. Goliath kind of feels like the first half of Jersey Devil Coaster clones as well. Due to this succession of great elements and little to no breaks in terms of the intensity of the ride's layout, it's definitely not the greatest RMC, but it's not a lower tier one either. I think it's still elite and an upper tier RMC creation. Any RMC is going to be featured in most people's favorite rides list. I think Goliath deserves much more attention than it's given. It's one of the greatest coasters I have ever ridden and people fail to give it the recognition that it truly deserves and needs. The park was definitely in need of this ride, and I'm glad they decided to add something big and major to the park's lineup. 
It opened before Joker in 2014, three years later after adding that 4D free spin to the park's collection, and two years after X-Flight. It was constructed in 2012 as b and first and only wing coaster at a Six Flags park. This is what the park deserved. People say the park still needs a standout coaster, but Goliath was that coaster. I do believe if the park did stick with the third half and didn't cut it out at the last second, it would have still been one of RMC's best roller coasters to date. But to me, Goliath stands out as the best roller coaster in the park but not by a lot. There's still many other amazing roller coasters at Six Flags Great America, and I'll eventually post a video of my rankings for the park's collection. This was the roller coaster that made me the enthusiast I am today. When you finally ride that one elite coaster, you just have to make a full review dedicated to it. And that's my full thoughts on Goliath.